www.educator.com. We're now going to look at a couple extra examples here to make a dot plot and a stem plot. So for the first example, we want to make a dot plot for the following data. And this, these data come from uh, the number of siblings that 40 introductory statistics students have. Now our data ranges from 0 to 12. Okay, so here's my number line. I'm going to make 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, you can probably see that as you uh, get larger and larger data sets, we're going to need computers to do this because if you have 100 or 200 observations, you're probably not going to want to do this by hand. But let's see. We have in our first row, we have someone with a 2, another person with a 2, another person with a 1. We actually have someone who had 12 people, 12 siblings. We have an only child sort of to counteract that. We have another two, and then three ones. One, two, three, actually four ones. Okay, the next row, so we're done with that one. We have two, one, one, Two, two, four, two, and then three ones. One, two, three. Okay. The next row we have a one, a four, a two, another one, a five, two threes. a 2, a 3, and a 1, okay? Then we have five straight 1's. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We have a 3, a 1, a 3, and two ones, and we're getting into that up there, but you can sort of see what's going on. Okay, so the, probably the easiest thing we can figure out here with this data is if I draw a curve over it, it's definitely right skewed. Some features here. That, we would most definitely say, is an outlier. Uh, it looks like we have a good cluster. I think 1 to 3 could be our cluster. We might be able to say it's our center of our data. And the bulk of our spread, I'd say for the most part, we're in that 0 to 5 range. You might want to say 0 to 12 for this spread, but you know, we haven't specified anything about are we using the range, or how are we quantifying that? So right now it's just a guessing game.